down a road in between Mashinko and Pushtika, you will see an unmarked road that leads up into the hills. Now, at first you might be scared, but you're going to see this power line here and go, oh, oh, oh. It's just a road that leads to the power line, right? So you follow the road up the hill. And you see, well, I guess there is a path that goes over to the power line. But, not only that, the road continues. So, you decide to follow the road, and you follow it on up the hill. Now, as you round the corner at the top here, you'll see a car you'll see a little caravan. I call it a caravan. I'm not too sure if that's exactly what it's called. But this isn't precisely what we're looking for. As you can see, the road still continues. The caravan, well, nothing, nothing special about it. The road just keeps on going. And as you see, we reach up here. The road ends. As you near the top of the path, you might see, well, looks like it's just the end of a road with a few old logs and probably just no logging camp. Here you can actually find some loot. As you can see, there's a pair of track pants inside. Um, and your first instinct might be to check the uh, shed up ahead, in which I actually did find a nice pair of cargo pants. Um, yeah. And then also in the distance, you'll see a hunting stand. Now, you might be saying, Jake, this doesn't seem too mysterious. Well, if as you're leaving, you happen to just take a nice gander to the left, you'll spot... An interesting little pile of rocks here. You know, I, as you eye roll to yourself over there, Jake, it's just a pile of rocks. Let's take a few more steps and you'll see, oh, another pile of rocks. And another pile of rocks. And another pile of rocks. And lastly, another pile of rocks. Now, I will say the only, something too bad is that in this version of DayZ, currently, the sticks are not in the middle. But normally, if you guys go check this in the older versions of DayZ, you'll find... Some sticks crossed right about here where I lay down. Now, this is a little risky to do because, you know, you never know what could come out and kill you. Just kidding. Um, but in this spot right here, normally there is sticks in the shape of a human figure. So, interesting place called the Witch's Circle. Some people think it's a reference to the Blair Witch Project movie. Um, pretty creepy little place. Someday I hope to have a campfire out here. Maybe bring a hostage out here. Wouldn't that be something? Tie him up right here. Do a little little clip in it, you know, a little clapping around him, do some sort of ritualistic thing with the hostage, creep him out a little bit. I think that'd be kind of funny. Um, hopefully it doesn't sound too evil to you guys. But <laughs> anyways, guys, this is the Blair Witch Circle. Well, maybe not the Blair Witch Circle, just the Witch Circle. Pretty creepy little location. Come out here and have a campfire some night, guys, and I think you'll, uh, you'll agree it's pretty creepy, especially at night. Cool little location for sure. Next up on the Mysteries of Daisy, we have what could be the underground of Trenaris. Now, there isn't much anything in the entire map that goes underground. There's a few entrances to a few mines across the map. There's a few little underground zombie sites, like there's this one site in the north part of the map um, where there's like this just concrete hole in the ground you can kind of fall into. And then, but the most notable, in my opinion, is up at Tizzy Military Base, where as you can see here, as you come up, onto the uh, this building, you'll see in the side of it, there's like another little room here. Now this room is not, you can't go into it um, from inside the other building, it's its own entrance. So you go into this room and it brings you down and then immediately you come in and there's like a vault door with even a key on it. So maybe in the future it could be locked. Well you open it up, there's a little room here and I'm telling you that looks like a really sealed bulletproof door. Come on down, take a right here and then you will see um, another vault door as you can see there. And then back here, I might as well show you guys, we are underground now. But there's like an interrogation room back here and actually has one of the new um, features of Daisy.63, which is that intercom system where you can speak across the Tizzy military base or any other places where those intercoms are. Back to the other door, though, over here, you will see, well, you know, another vault style door. So the interesting thing about this one, though, is you open it up and look at this. It opens, but now you're on the inside of a vault door. And guess what, though? Boom. You cannot open this door, though. You cannot go on the other side of it. Um, as you can see, you know, I swing at it. No point. You know, it's not like I'm going to bust it open. Um, and even take a few shots here in a second. Um, but it's interesting. There's no, nothing, nothing about it. You cannot go into it. So I don't know. It's, it's really interesting because it's, you got to wonder, does Daisy have something planned for it? 
And personally, I think they do because I think that adding two Trenaris in the surface, um, you know, any t anywhere they take away forests, that's taking away p potential locations for bases. So where's somewhere you can add things and expand things? And I think you can always expand underground. Plus, I think it's just a really cool atmosphere for the game. So I really hope one day they expand the game underground. And here's one place to do it. And I'm about to show you guys one more place they should do it. And that is we take a travel all the way back to the Northwest Airfield where, the, as you guys know, the Northwest Airfield has been redesigned for DayZ Beta. And it's a really cool redesign. This place is huge now. But as you can see, there's these little, like, grassy pod things. I really have no idea what to call them. There might be a real name for them. Um, but they have little pipes running, I say actually big pipes running into them. They seem to circulate air in and out of them, which makes me think they actually go underground, or at least could in the future. Um, and they all have, they're all individual, which is really, really interesting. Um, and there's even a few more underground looking bunkers across the airbase um you know off in the distance you'll see occasionally and check it out sometime for yourself guys go to northwest airfield but what kind of leave in the comment section what you think they could do with an underground even here at the northwest airfield i think it'd be really really cool just to have maybe little individual bunkers um there could be really good loot in them but imagine if you go inside you're kind of trapped maybe somebody in the surface could lock it or if you go in there um i don't know you just, you know, you risk because you're trapped down there, or maybe they link up to each other and it's like a good way to sneak across the airbases in the underground. I think there's a lot of potential for it, and I think it's a really cool thing that we might see developed in the future. It's really a mystery now, though, as to see what it's, you know, it's kind of just there for design. You cannot go inside, so it's sort of mysterious as to why it's there and what they might do with it in the future. The final mysterious thing in Daisy Standalone is something else added in the .63 experimental version. If you guys haven't checked it out, make sure when you update the game to come and visit this plane. Now, currently there's nothing added. It spawns no loot. There's nothing openable inside. But what's weird is there are a few stairs inside. You just can't fit on them. And I don't know if they'll treat that in the future or if it's all just aesthetic. But I researched it a little bit and we're pretty sure this plane is an AC-130 and it's crashed. Um, the reason I say that is because, of course, it looks similar. It has the two propellers on either side, you know, on each wing, just like this plane has and an AC-130 has as well, and a very, sim very similar design overall. Now, I, I really don't think this thing was added for no purpose. I think in the future they'll do something with it. Um, you know, maybe it'll behave somewhat like the crashed helicopters. Maybe it's a sneak peek to the fact, if you guys don't know in Daisy, there's crashed helicopters um, that spawn randomly across the map, and they have really good loot at them. Um, and they're not implemented currently, but when they come back, they will do that again, just like they used to. And maybe there'll be like one of these on the map at any given time. I think that'd be really cool if there was all the crashed helicopters, which are already rare. And then imagine there was somewhere on the map, a single crashed AC-130. Maybe this is an example of what it would look like. Maybe it's a permanent structure that will have its own special loot occasionally. Um, maybe there'll be, maybe you can take parts off it and in the future, use it for other planes. Who knows? Um, but it's really cool, and I hope that one day in the future they do something with it, and I really think they will. I don't think they added it for zero purpose, as it is really, really cool looking. And there's nothing else around it. So there's a lot they can do with the area um, of whether expanding this plane, maybe scaling it up so you can walk inside it more. Who knows? Very cool looking structure, though, and I'm really curious to see what the development team does with this in the future. And as I've been saying, I really want to know what you guys think this could be used for in the future. What would you like done with it? Do you like it just as a piece of aesthetic? Or would you like something functional done with it? Well, guys, surprise, surprise. If you've made it this far, I'm hoping you guys plan on sticking with the whole video. Um, and I actually have a bonus location that I didn't think was cool enough to give its own label as a mystery of Daisy Standalone. But it is a little bit mysterious to me that it's here. And this is an abandoned house that has no road leading to it. It's literally just up in the middle of the northwest of the map. Um, on the way to Tizzy. I have a screenshot here of a map in the area where I believe it is. I couldn't pinpoint the exact location, but if you run the woods on the route straight to Patizzi um, from like the Northwest Airfield, you will run into this once you pass the big cities and the Northern Highway. Um, if you guys have made it this far, before, as I'm showing you this, I wanted to say please go and check out my Twitch. Give it a follow. I'm going to start streaming there a little bit more often. Um, and I wanted you guys to go ahead and follow me there. And I really hope to see you guys in the chat on Twitch. So go ahead and enjoy this little abandoned house here. One of my favorite things about this little mysterious location is that someone has been here or a group of people have been here and lived here since the fact that it got, you know, demolished or abandoned or whatever. Um, as you can see, there's a campfire and benches that you'll see in the clip. And I think that's really, really cool. As I've been talking about, I really want to know what you guys 
think of these three mysterious places. Which ones have you personally visited? I hope if any of you guys have played Experimental that you've visited the AC-130. And honestly, anybody that's been to Tizzy has probably been into the interrogation room underground, but have you guys opened the bunker, and what do you think they will do with it in the future? I really want to know your guys' ideas, so make sure you guys drop some comments, drop some likes, let me know that you're liking the Daisy videos, and support the channel. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys want to see more content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, go follow me on Twitch. I have a link in the description, and I hope to catch all of you guys in my next live stream or video. See you guys there.